is the University of Maryland Medical Center. I wonder if it's been for the past four years. This is a view from the third floor balcony of the main atrium. Be Michael Gold's chair. No one sits there. <laughs> if he was here right now, he'd be yelling at me. <laughs> I have seen Ken. They have to change so, it. So, so Ken, what, what happens to you come tomorrow? <laughs> come tomorrow? I still be Ken. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? You don't Ken? turn into a pumpkin. Uh, maybe. <laughs> You're going to tell us where Did you buy a new car? Yeah. His father made it. What car? It's a Mercedes. Did you? It's beautiful. Nice. I'm here with, with, with my good friend, T.S. Uh, tell us, uh, tell, tell the world uh, how I saved your life many, many times. Yeah, you did that for me, all right. There you go. Well, I'm here in the PCU, a place where I've had to spend uh, far too much time. And as you can see, all the, uh, the scarce nursing staff hard at work. Where, where are they all right now? This is all you need. Yeah. You Helen, that's all you need. Boy, you really are sounding like an administrator now, Helen. <laughs> I'm here with David Gallo. Uh, he's the guy with the big toothy face. And this is the fellow's office area. Well, Dave, do you remember the old fellow's room? Oh, yes, I do. I mean, th this is a luxurious space. This is quite an improvement. I, I agree. David's now... Camera? What? Yeah. Well, I know you, uh... It's a recent addition to my family. Yeah. Well, we, we can see how good you look on videotape right now. That's, that's good. That's yeah. good. Uh, welcome to my very clean and orderly office. It's nice to uh, have a visitor here. Well, it's a, it's a pleasure to be here. Just say something uh, profound for, for posterity. Uh, something or rather posterity, or since you're getting kind of old, prost. Prosterity. Yeah. I want to hear so it's profound. I don't think I can do that this early. You always say something profound. Uh, I, you know, yeah, sorry. You just haven't, been to, enough, you just haven't been to enough dead shows since uh, uh, since Jerry went. Yeah, Jerry popped and I'm host. Do you have one of the... This is Paul. Paul's been hanging out here waiting for a heart. Paul, have you been happy here at the university? Sure have. Do you have anything profound to say for, uh... The food's excellent. <laughs> We're in the uh, CCU, an exciting and dynamic place where you can see uh, exciting and dynamic people doing almost nothing. <laughs> yeah, this is the fast-paced world of academic tertiary care medicine. Another view of the lobby. I like the uh, elevators that go up and down. Now, I have on video, too. And, well, no, in all honesty, Malcolm, I, I kind of like the idea of you as a memory. <laughs> well, I want to be preserved forever on your video collection. <laughs> Todd, good luck in Florida. Th thank you very much, Mel. We're here now with Glenn. Dr. Kirk, I'm really going to miss you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm so glad to see that the hair weave is working. Oh, uh, leave Marty alone. Marty's come a long way. You're leaving. And you, I remember my first time I ever got called in, you did it to me at 3 in the morning with Herzog when you were when you were the weenie peeny first year fellow with CCU. And let me tell you, there are a few things I, I hate hearing more than the idea of. And, and here we are. Don't even go there. Here we are with the most important person here in the cath lab, um, Jerry Bethia. I think so. Um, Don't even try. <laughs> You should be yelling at me about something. Get out of here with no uh, hat and uh, mask and uh, no boots. Hi, Todd. What exciting nursing stuff are you doing now? I'm doing the important work. What's that? Putting away the trays and loading the trucks. Excellent. Very good. Wave. Okay. <laughs> Jody, do you have anything to say to you to say for yourself? For me? Uh-huh. No, I don't. How about the Ken? See ya. <laughs> Show me the uh, fabulous lab here. Uh, 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 this one with this Jody. Is, this is room one. Beautiful room. Beautiful room. This is where Michael would sit to control things. This is the view of the from the control room of room two. Room two is a beautiful biplane lab. Stephanie. Hi, Dr. Ford. What are you up to? 
Just tying this and set it up. You often tie a limit up? Every chance I get. Uh, why do they call you the princess? Isn't it obvious? You don't exactly appear to be radiating uh, royally right now. What do you mean by that? You're doing a couple things royally. <laughs> this young lady was talking about you, your royal stench. Isn't he awful? Yeah. Being the princess of Poland isn't exactly the same thing as, uh, as Queen of England. Well, no, it's a little better, don't you think? Let me hang a kielbasa around my neck, and then we'll see what you um, have to say about that. I just want to state for the record that uh, during these many years, Stephanie's always been more engaging and uh, verbal in person than she is presently for the record. For Froman in action. Okay. Okay. Deborah's calling in sick. We're seeing her doing... I'm calling Brussels. <laughs> the vegetable? And the sprout? Oh <laughs> hey, Ken. Hello. I just got my uh, special gift from the nurses. It's my Buzz Lightyear toy. <laughs> Why don't you show me how does it work? Well, Buzz is pretty cool. If you cause trouble, I can shoot you with my laser. Wow. And if, let's say, there's real problems, uh -huh. well... I am Buzz Lightyear. I and he comes and protects the galaxy. Uh, and if he needs to do something, he fires at his wings and flies and takes care of things. I, I've got I've got another Buzz in the office. It's my Buzz Bank. You give him money, and he says, "I'm Buzz Lightyear. Thank you for giving me money." Uh, it's a very entrepreneurial Buzz, but uh -huh. this is my new Buzz. Uh, wings. There we go. Uh, but I love the Buzz. It's got the kung fu grip. Uh-huh. He can only give you the index finger. Buzz is very polite. In that <laughs> part of the galaxy, people are much more polite. You can... But that's about it. And this okay. was a, a gift of the generous nursing staff. Now you're double Buzz, huh? I've got All two right. Buzzes. Great. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Ken. <laughs> Cardiac EP service. This is June, our secretary. Uh -huh. <laughs> we could do nothing without her. This is June. She's our most valuable secretary. What's up, Rick, again? You can see how efficiently she answers the telephone. A little angry at me. And there's reports. Do you the, have any reports? This is Jody. She's only been here for uh, a couple months, but she's been a, a major... I can still make him... Uh, she's been a major pain in the ass. Paul laughed about his reports. At, uh, that's all she cares about are those damn reports. <laughs> Buzz. Some guy. Doesn't do very much sometimes. You. All right. Okay, Alan. Uh, what have you got there? I have some really good artifact here on Paul Wary in, in the CCU, our good friend on the transplant list. All, all the very important things that you. Uh, you, you can't see uh, fast VT very well in video. I'm, fo I'm focusing more on your uh, on your face, Alan. Uh, uh, what we need to do with this, Todd, is we need to make another slide. We need slides. We only have about 4,000 yeah, slides that we've collected. 66,000 slides. So we need to make some more slides. But this would be a really good slide if we get the electrograms out of it and we we put it underneath it at the exact same time. Is there anything you want to say for the future so you don't seem like such a geek and you can actually seem like you've got a personality and you're kind of cool? Well, just to put up with that qualifies me for what you just said. Hey, Alan. Uh, F you. What? Hi, Mrs. Riley. Hello, Dr. Florin. How are you? I'm very good. Thank you for Buzz Lightyear. Oh, you like that? I love Buzz. Let's hear what he says. This is the other Buzz. Hi, I am Buzz Lightyear. I protect the galaxy from the threat of invasion. I come in peace. <laughs>